Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. We're really excited because we're back at the Ottawa Boat Show this year in 2023. We haven't been here in three years, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity for me to show you what we do at our show and show you some tips and tricks uh, about boat show shopping, what's new and exciting, just give you an idea of what you might look for when you go to a boat show in your area and tell you about some things that you might not know about and maybe things that would benefit you if you decided to go. So one of the things I love about boat shows is that at this time of year, if you live in a northern climate, you have almost no opportunity to really go to a showroom in every single dealership efficiently. Boats are wrapped off and showrooms aren't large enough to have a massive model display. So it's an opportunity for you to take one day, maybe two if you decide to come back and really be way more efficient in boat shopping. So instead of driving to one dealership and then another dealership on one weekend and then spending like three or four of your weekends kind of going from place to place to place, you get to kind of do it all in one shot. Not every dealership in your market area will probably have a display at your local show. Some dealers really get involved in boat shows and others kind of let it go off to the side. So it's not like you're going to hit every single dealership in your local market area. But what you are going to do is have the opportunity to see a lot of the competitor brands and a lot of competitor dealerships and get a feeling for what they're like. How those dealerships greet you in their booth and how you feel when you interact with them is a huge indication of how you're gonna feel when you're working with them out on the water and taking your boat for a delivery. Depending on the show, you might find that they're all smaller dealerships. It's like you're going to their dealership and when you go into their booth, they may have a representation from all their brands. Maybe they have a pontoon boat line and maybe they have a fiberglass line or a tow boat line or a fishing boat. In larger shows like Toronto or Miami or New York or some of those bigger centers, you'll find it's almost more like a manufacturer show where there's a booth for a certain brand and then the dealers all from the surrounding areas will come and work that show and then you can talk to a dealer that's from your area in that brand. So depending on where the show is, it may be laid out a little differently. And then in certain markets, smaller markets, Ottawa being one of them, instead of just boats, you'll get an interaction between a lot of different recreational types. It's pretty common at boat shows to find, you know, things like stand-up paddle boards and uh, small sailboats, wakeboard products, wake surfers, and then you get things like docks and seating and all things that, you know, are enjoyable if you own a lakefront home or own a cottage. Um, but it is going to be that ability to see all things marine in one building. And then in larger venues like Toronto and New York and Miami, it's going to be more specific to boats. You're not going to find four wheelers and generators at those shows. But if you own a cottage and you're thinking about buying a boat, you can get a lot of your shopping done in one spot. A common question that we get asked if, is there really good deals to be had at boat shows? And the answer is yes and no. There's no ground rules. There's no laws that say you have to give a good deal at a, at a boat show. Depending on your market, um, the boat show just may be an opportunity for you to see a lot of product and also have the most choice. There's no question that boat shows happening in the late fall and early winter give you the most opportunity to get stock that's available and or custom order thing. Boat shows typically are large investments for dealers. So they spend a lot of time huge amounts of time prepping for it, getting the right staff, having the pricing set, laying out the booth, getting all the boats into the booth. So they've invested a significant amount of money and there's no question that they are motivated to come out of the show with deals. We want to, as a boat dealer, go home after all that effort with something to show for it. If you're going to get a negotiation going on a boat deal, it's going to happen one of two times. It's going to happen at a boat show where we've invested all that time and energy or late in the season, say, depending on where you are in the world here, later in August and early September, where we're really focusing on next year and we want to clear out as much inventory as possible. So those are kind of the two best times of the years to get your best deal possible. Obviously in the September timeframe, you're really looking at next year. So you're, 
you're taking uh, a boat that you know you're not going to use until the next season. In a boat show situation, you're only maybe two to three months away from boating. So it does give you that opportunity to get a bit better of a deal and also look forward to something that's coming up pretty quickly. Sometimes manufacturers will help out with that. They'll either offer a beneficial interest rate if they have a partner with someone for financing. They'll sometimes reps come to the show. So boat manufacturers will have a representative who does a certain territory. Maybe it's the Northeast or the Midwest or all of Canada, and they will come to the larger shows and be there to support. And that's another great reason to come to a show is that you have that opportunity to maybe talk to a factory rep so you can really you know, get into more detail about how the boats are made, how the factory environment is, um, possibly uh, get some more detailed answers to your questions if you're comparing a couple brands. And because of that, sometimes if there is a negotiating going on, sometimes a manufacturer rep will help out in the deal a little bit. It's not guaranteed and it's not saying that it will happen every time and you should expect it. And yet it is something you can ask for. Is there any factory help available on this deal? Cause I'd like to do a deal today. Some other fun things about boat shows is there's uh, often contests. Uh, there'll be door prizes for when you come in. Uh, there'll be sometimes seminars that will, you know, be about certain aspects of boating, fishing seminars or cruising. If you're doing a great loop or something, there may be uh, ability for you to learn something that you wouldn't have access to and it's all included in the price of admission. Uh, so you really can immerse yourself in boating by coming to the show. If you're new to boating and you're not sure where to start, the great thing about a boat show is you're going to see all kinds of aspects of boating. You're not only going to see the boat itself and the dealership itself, but you're going to see displays from marinas. They're going to have their layout of their docks and the slips that are available. You're going to have uh, vendors from the insurance world. So they're going to be there to try to help you understand what the costs are. You're going to see vendors who sell things like PFDs and, and safety equipment. So all the things that go into boating, you're going to have that opportunity to see at a boat show. And it, it would very quickly take you from having very little knowledge to having a lot more and feeling more comfortable. It can also be a little bit overwhelming when you walk into a building and you're a new boater or a new potential boater seeing all these shiny, gorgeous boats and seeing all these different things. Sometimes you don't know where to start. And, and our best advice always is if you have a friend who's a boater and if they have had a great experience with a dealership is the really that is as, as close to the best place to start as any, because when you go to that dealership, you can say, I have a relationship with so-and-so. And it puts a little bit more pressure on that dealership to, you know, treat you well because that person has, has referred you. And they should be able to guide you to every aspect of boating. A good dealership will know about good insurance companies and they'll know about good marinas and places to boat and they'll know about local laws and things that you need to consider. You can do a lot of the research on your own. It still may be more efficient and beneficial just to go directly to a dealer that you think you can trust and start there and see if you do enjoy spending time with them. Depending on your market, when you go to a show in Southern Florida, as an example, you're going to see a wider display of boats that are popular down there. Think offshore, high performance boats, center consoles, big cruisers. Depending on which show you go to, you're going to find a better representation of boats that are popular in the area because that's, those are the boats that those dealers stock. In our area, in the Ottawa, Eastern Ontario market, we're driven heavily by traditional bow riders like Crown Line, Regal, Monterey, Chaparral, Sea Ray, and pontoons. Pontoons are huge. At our show, it's a huge opportunity for you to see there are so many pontoon boat manufacturers. And it's a very easy for you to quickly go from each brand and see if there's one that feels right to you or that you fall in love with. Because let's face it, boating is a luxury that is, although affordable and attainable, it should be an emotional purchase. It should not be 100% practical. You should fall in love with the boat that you're on because the idea would be 
that why bother unless it really makes you excited. So you get to walk around and see if there's a boat that feels exciting and that's a good place to start too. Okay, so let's talk about when to go to the boat show. So depending on who you are, you may want to pick a certain day. So what we find, shows will range from anywhere from say nine days or two weekends in a week uh, on the long side to much shorter three day shows like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And what we find is that the weekends, the Saturdays, are the busiest. Uh, they're the most families obviously come out on those days. And a lot of booths will have set up little kids zones for kids to watch a movie or color or do things like that. By all means, uh, we love having families out because you often do boat with your friends and family. So that is the kind of thing that you're gonna to wanna to do at a boat show is, is bring everybody who's going to be uh, boating involved and, and get their input and have a little bit of fun. I mean, the whole idea is, is that this is fun and these are the people you're gonna be spending time with on the boat. But if you want a, an experience that is more personal and you have the time to sit down with these dealers and their sales staff and possibly the owners even of these dealerships is, is try to come during the week. A lot of times we'll have people come in on a Thursday on a quieter day and they will spend time really walking the show without talking to anyone, try to get a sense of the boats that they want to discuss with people and then they'll go into those booths and have more in-depth conversations and, and really try to figure out what boat might be right for them or, or what boat, maybe they already have an idea and they start to the negotiation process. And we find a lot of those people will come back then on the weekend on Saturday, Sunday, maybe bring their family then after they've had a time to do a little bit of research. So how you attack the show really depends on where you're on the stage. If you're just kind of getting your feet wet into the boating world, come anytime just immerse yourself, but you are definitely gonna get way more traffic on the weekends and you could then conversely get way more attention during the week. So thanks for joining us on today's Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. I hope you get a little bit more of an idea of what boat shows are all about. And if you wanna know more detail about when the best time of year to buy a boat is, check out this video here where I tell you why each season might have its pros and cons.